What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Michael, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to play with specific AD carries. One of the interesting things about bot lane is that you need to not only know how to play your own champion, but you need to know how to play with the champion that your AD carry picked. It's kind of one of the things that makes bot lane a little bit more dynamic. So I thought I'd do some videos just kind of talking about how to play with specific AD carries, and today we're going to talk about Lucian. Because he's so fresh and new, it just becomes a very interesting topic to kind of talk about. So without further ado, let's uh, let's jump right in. Difficulty of laning with Lucian. And what I mean by difficulty is, does this champion need to be babysat really heavily? Or can they kind of pull their own weight in lane? And Lucian is definitely a champion who can pull his own weight in lane. He has good burst damage, good harass, and good mobility which allows them to pretty effectively bully other laners. On a scale of difficulty from Vayne to Caitlyn, he's around a Misfortune to Varus, which is a little bit on the easier side. What kind of lane does Lucian need? You're never going to want to go for a very farm-centered kind of bot lane with Lucian. You're going to want to try and snowball your lane and kind of get it so he starts dominating the bot lane very effectively. He's never going to hit that late-game status of a Vayne or a Kog'Maw, and his ulti doesn't bring as much to a teamfight as a Varus or a Misfortune. What he kind of ends up becoming is a Draven-like AD carrier, where if he has a good team in front of him, he can pump out a lot of damage and do a lot of good things. Let us talk about the pros and the cons of Lucian now. Lucian has pretty good burst damage with his autos and his abilities, also take into account his passive. He has strong mobility with his W and his E, and his Q and his W have pretty good scaling on him. He also has some slightly longish range abilities, which kind of bleeds over to the cons. And that being, the damage from his abilities are very inconsistent. His Q is a pretty much a targeted skill shot, which kind of gimps it overall. His W is interrupted by minions, and his ulti is... Yeah, we've all seen those sick Lucian ultis. He's very mana hungry. The most consistent harass you'll probably get from Lucian is through his auto attacks. And his reset just sucks. Flat out right. Now let's kind of talk quickly about some support to do pretty well with Lucian. Nami is one of them. Nami provides sustain in lane, so if he makes a bad trade, she can kind of patch him up a little bit. She provides some snowball potential with her Q. If she lands good Qs, they can get kills out of it. She gets good peel in team fights for Lucian, and she has really strong synergy with his chase potential. Her passive is like an extension of his W and gives him a lot more move speed and her E also gives him more burst damage and also a lot more chasing potential because of the slow on top of it. Sona is another support who works pretty well with Lucian. She has a sustain and some decent catching of power, much like Nami. Her Q provides a good scaling to both his W and his R because there's dual scaling, that being both AP and AD. And her Q actually gives a lot of bonus damage to his Q as well at max rank. Their ulties work well together keeps him stationary so he can get free damage off and also get other damage from his abilities off as well. Finally we have Leona, the champion who provides very strong all-in potential, lockdown, and burst damage as we all probably know and maybe either love or hate. The difference with a Leona Lucian lane than a Leona Graves lane is that a Leona Graves lane has a lot of upfront damage. Lucian kind of has staggered burst damage, which actually complements very well with Leona, who staggers her sunlight procs very effectively. It's not a whole bunch of upfront burst, it's very strong kind of staggered burst damage over maybe about 2 or 3 seconds if he kind of gets his passive and abilities off very consistently. It still has a lot of kill potential and a lot of kind of snowball potential as well. Overall, Lucian's a funny to carry to either play with or play as. This gets fun and interesting, and it's definitely nicely animated. It's always fun to watch a Lucian run around with his ulti on, just kind of dashing places. That's pretty cool. Although I haven't really seen anybody chain together his ulti with his E too consistently because it's kind of whatever right now. The champion overall was very inconsistent from what I've seen. That may be due to the player base being not too consistent with it, or it may just be due to the kit. Only time will tell. If nothing else, I guess he's brought some sick new fun jokes to the game. Now whenever there's Lucian in the game, there'll be some sick cool jokes spinning around back and forth. And then it just becomes a whole Tark and Outrageous situation where you go to a red thread and Tark's slightly relevant and then just everybody's fucking saying Outrageous and they're all getting upvoted because, you know, it's, it's back in Reddit. 
Riot Graves and fucking Blitzcrank should not be in the game at the same time as fucking Lucian.